When 50 Cent was beefing, right? Game and all that. New York got the that. Possibly could have lost at the time because 50 was a bigger artist. You ain't want no problem. You was Black Lives Matter. It was peace. But when K Dot get on there, you felt comfortable enough. Get- DJ Bandana Black and Doris Records. Yeah, man. Bandana Black, you know, he always played local music, you know, for Buffalo, man. We That was the only DJ we really had, you know what I'm saying? And, um, he always show love, man. He always been a fan, you know, since day one. I knew him before. I, I knew him before he was even bandana black. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like when he when he became, you know, on the radio, uh, a radio DJ, man. He just always show love, man. So you know, definitely shout to bandana black. Yeah, what Eve will you bandana black? DJ Ban Ban Bandana! Stay not like us, stay not like us, stay not like us. Dun, dun, dun. Alright, listen, before we start this video, before we start this video, because I know what you're gonna say. Listen, bro, I am from Buffalo, New York, right? Buffalo, New York. Google Buffalo, New York. It's usually cold as fuck. I'm called snow everywhere. It is it's like 200 degrees outside right now. It's probably 200 degrees outside right now. Like, it's probably like 82, but that's like 200 degrees to us, bro. I can't even breathe outside. So, yes, I am wearing shorts and a, probably a white beater that's too small. Oh, and I got on Crocs, too. And my Crocs got the, um, what's it called, a Fibbit? Or whatever. I don't know what my daughter said. I got the Fibbit on the Crocs, too. Do your homework on let your daughter pick out your outfit at 5 below because you lost weight. Now you can fit the stuff. But listen, we got to talk about the game. We got to talk about Kendrick. We got to talk about Drake. Now, before I start this video off, before I start this video off, right, I just want to say this. To all my West Coastians, right, all my West Coastians, all my Cali niggas, all, all my, listen, I, I love y'all. I love the West Coast. Y'all have a lot of influence, a lot of a lot of stuff, right? I respect the West Coast. Some of my favorite people from out the West Coast. Uh, Munchie B, uh, Big Sad, uh, The Game, Wack 100, Prior to Clubhouse. I ain't gonna hold you. I fucked the Wack 100 prior to Clubhouse. I'm a couple people out there, right? So this is no way to be disrespectful to the West Coast, but Kendrick just did some Tupac shit, bro. Kendrick just did some Tupac shit. And we used to claim Tupac. Like, if you, if, if you gotta choose between Tupac and Biggie, even though I'm a New York nigga, I gotta choose Tupac, bro. I, I'm rolling with Tupac, but Kendrick, you just did some Tupac shit, bro. And it's, it's a dangerous situation for you to do that. Not only for who you did that to, which is Drake, but for yourself too. But let me explain. Let's get started. DJ Ban Ban Bandana. All right, look. So I'm gonna just be honest with y'all, right? You know, black people. Black people don't be on time and don't be putting shit together, right? So I'm gonna finish the rest of this video, but I'm gonna finish the rest of this Jewish sub first. So in about, I'm gonna snap my fingers, then we're gonna finish the rest of the drink. But I wanted to show you, if you ever come to Buffalo, this right here is a Jewish sub. This right here is a Jewish sub. You gotta follow it up with a a peach pop. This right here is a pop, not a soda or a soda pop. This is called a pop. Peach Fago, bong, and then I tried to go special. I like onions, so I want the little green onion chips. Usually you go with the kettle chips. Usually you gotta go with the kettle chips with the Jewish sub. But, and, see, y'all be saying I only fuck with people in New York. Look what I did too. Bong, the homie, the homie. Shout out to the homie. I gotta stop saying homie, too. I gotta tell y'all a crazy story. Bro, I think I might be in a gang right now for saying homie. I didn't even mean this long story, but let's get started, right? They can't stand the facts. Nope. A lot of us are insane. They can't stand this rap. I'm so buffalo like I'm bandana black. But from the 716, we determine it, we discipline. Oh, that's your man. Better get him for you missing that. I ain't never gonna hold you. These chips right here, right? The chips I just told you about, these joints. Fire. EBA Young Boy, you bogus as hell, bro. You bogus as hell. These chips hot as fuck, bro. These joints good as hell. These joints, I shouldn't have ate this before. I'm drooling this shit before I did the video. These shits hot as hell, bro. Those went well with the uh, with the Jewish Story sub, though. By the way, uh, I'm not sponsored by either one of them. I should be sponsored by the Jewish Story, though. By this, by now, I should be sponsored by the Jewish Story, but I'm not. But listen, um, Kendrick out here paying for protection, bro. Kendrick wants some Tupac shit paying for protection, bro. Kendrick paying for protection, but we're going to let Game break it down for you how the fuck Kendrick is paying for protection, bro. Game would never do this. Game would never do this. Let's get to it, though. We put the headphones on real quick. How y'all doing today? Matter of fact, how comment below how y'all doing today while I get these headphones uh, together. Checking in with the band. Y'all been killing the videos, too. I've been seeing the views. I've been seeing a lot of uh, subscribers. Y'all been sharing it, too. Especially on Twitter. I didn't even know people really still be on Twitter like that. Apparently, that's where everybody's at. Everybody's on Twitter. I got to get back on Twitter. But shout out to everybody who's sharing it on Twitter. 
Um, we're going to react to what Game is saying um, about the situation. I'm going to explain to you why Kendrick is on some Tupac shit, bro. And I'm a Tupac fan. Like, I picked Tupac over Biggie. Like, and I'm from New York. Like, I picked Tupac over Biggie, but Kendrick goes some Tupac shit, bro. He's going to get somebody hurt. It might be him, but let's get started. Uh, let's see. Shout out to Chiggs, too. I'm going to put the link below. This content right here is from um, a content creator named Chiggs, I believe. I think I'm saying it right. I, I watch a lot of his videos. Um, even though I make uh, videos, I like watching other content creators, too. So shout out to him. Shout out to the homie. Uh, damn, I meant to shout him out, too. I almost forgot his name. Uh, Clip Reacts, I think it's all. I think it's Clip Reacts. He might be from the West Coast. Um, shout out to him also, too. When I be stealing content from Poetic Flock on Academics, I really don't get him credit only because... Man, fuck them niggas. <laughs> uh, let's start with this <laughs> with, with this game, Joy. Damn shit swirl around the internet, you know. And like, you know, sometimes, man, y'all just gotta y'all gotta hear from the horse's mouth, man. First of all, let's start there, game. Game is one of the few West Coast artists I actually like. I fuck with game in the West Coast, right? But let's start right here, game. Nobody asked you this. Nobody said nothing, bro. You, you right in what you're saying. Let me just say that up front because I'm a fair person, bro. I'm a fair I'm not just on one person's side. Like, right is right, right, wrong is wrong. Game, you're not wrong for what you're saying, but you're lying because we didn't even know you wasn't at the concert until you said that everybody was saying how you wasn't at the concert, bro. We, we didn't even realize you wasn't there, bro. Honestly. And you're... Now, West Coast going to kill me for saying this, but... Well, I'm not going there anyways, though, but... Outside of California, I'm going to just say the truth. We like game better than Kendrick, bro. Game is better than Kendrick. Like, I understand, like, in California, y'all feel like Kendrick is, um, he did this, uh, 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 not like us, he killed Drake, blah, 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 da, da, da. As far as rap, because remember, it came from, from here. Like, this is like, it came from here, right? And we're talking about rap, like hip-hop. We like game better. The actual, like, rapper, we like game better than Kendrick, bro. Um, So, should game have been there? Let him explain it. But nobody called you, bro. No, it wasn't a bunch of people saying, like, hey, we didn't see game. You should have been there. I, I know how you feel because I've been in your same position. DMs and all on these, uh, you know, these blog sites and whatnot talking about, you know, the West Coast ain't fucking with you and, and you ain't, you know, you ain't this and you ain't that. And Nobody said that, game. That's why you can't say specific. They saying, yo, you ain't this, you ain't that, you ain't this. You saying it because you hurt for your hometown, bro. We're going to speak about it. It all makes sense. Trust me, I know. I've been... Bro, this shit is tatted on me, bro. This shit is tatted on me. They did me the same way, game. But getting on the internet crying about this shit, not going to help, bro. Getting on the internet crying about this shit is not going to help. You siding with this and that nigga. When the fuck y'all heard me say a motherfucking thing about who I'm siding with or this and that? Being in my own lane, chill. Taking care of my kids out the fucking way. So he feels... Game feel... That the reason, um, well, let's just let's just go on a little bit more. But this is crazy, bro. Kendrick, you really let me down because it's crazy. Like I wasn't a Kendrick fan until the second part of Euphoria. I'm gonna keep it G with you. I wasn't a Kendrick fan until the second part of Euphoria. When I heard the second part of Euphoria, even to this day, this is how I don't know how you niggas is like not like us, knock it out the park. That was the one. No nigga, even though Kendrick won, there. I agree that everybody is saying Kendrick won. I'll put it. I agree that everybody is saying that Kendrick won, right? Even though he won, from the the, the point of what this is actually about, right? Because you know what? Let me go to the big screen because this is this is this is one of the main points, right? This is actually about hip hop. This is about rap. This is two rappers, one big rapper who's been throwing shots at another not so big as rapper. Kendrick is not really as big as Drake um, overall, right? So. He been throwing shots at him. He been kind of scared to say anything to him. It's all been rap, right? It's all rap music, right? Now listen to what, what this shit turned into, bro. Listen to what this shit did. But remember, this started over rap. This is two rappers. So if you're a rapper, you should be able to rap back at this rapper, right? This is you and this rapper rap. And if you rap and shit, you should be able to, worst case scenario, if you see this rapper, either get punched in your face or be you yourself be ready to punch that artist in his face. But let's keep going. This is sad, bro. Because I wasn't even a... The second part of Euphoria is crazy. When I heard the second part of Euphoria, I said it's nothing that, even now, after the second part of Euphoria, there's nothing that Drake could have said that would have made made a difference. Made, I still, I don't think that if we're talking about music, that Kendrick won. 
it's not even a question of Kendrick one. If we're talking about actual music, Drake definitely one. If we're talking about actual music, um, rap, rap music, by the way, rap music. I want to make that clear. I'm talking about rap music. And when I talk about rap music, you got to remember it started here. Rap music started here. So all of the extra shenanigans like that too. That's that's extra. Um, let's keep going. This really broke my heart, yo, because. I fuck with game, and I, I was a fan of Kendrick after the second part of Euphoria, but then when Not Like Us dropped, it reminded me of why I don't really, I can't rock with Kendrick. He's a dope artist. Kendrick is definitely one of the, lyrically one of the top three lyrical artists. So is Most Def and Common, and what's that other guy that uh, Jay-Z signed that dropped like every 10 years? The one with the, um, he like Diabolical Football, he got the Exhibit C drink, him. All of those are artists, top three lyrical artists. I, I would never willingly say Yo, play that artist. It's not even a diss. I'm just, those artists are phenomenal. I named some New York artists too, so y'all can't say I'm just talking about West Coast, but I'm not willingly listening to any of them because there's nothing that's relatable. Like, it's, you, I, I don't, let, let's keep going, bro. Let's keep going. Shit, and I've been in this motherfucker since 2003, right? Because that's when I got signed to Aftermath, 2003. I've been in this shit since 2003, being a solid act, and I put on for the West Coast. And Top Dog know what it is. Kendrick know what it is, nigga YG know what it is, Mustard know what it is, Ty Dolla Sign know what it is. You know the reason why everybody that he's saying that he know what it is? It's all people like from California, from the West Coast. Game don't understand that outside of where you at, I understand you care about where you at. I'm the same way, bro. I care more about what people in Buffalo feel about me than the 55,000 people that's on YouTube right now clearly saying that they fuck with me, right? I don't got 55,000 people. I ain't got 5,000 people that's in Buffalo that's gonna fuck with me. Like the people, real talk, like the people that's on YouTube that's gonna fuck with me. Game, but you gotta understand, bro, the love is never gonna come from home. You 100% right in what you're saying, but there's a reason why you wasn't on that stage. There's a reason why they're not connecting, connecting it to you. You know why? Because they understand outside of California, none of that shit means nothing, bro. Outside of where y'all at right now, none of that shit means nothing, bro. We're not looking at this shit like Kendrick did anything. We're looking at this shit like... <laughs> we still fuck with game, bro. And I'm not saying we don't fuck with Kendrick. I'm just saying as far as like the music aspect of it, we're still going to pick game music over Kendrick music even, even after this. Game just cares more about California because that's where he's from. Dr. Dre know what it is. Snoop know what it is. Hit Boy know what it is. My and Dr. Dre, Kennedy. Dr. Dre, you... See, I be wanting to be careful because y'all niggas be taking shit the wrong way, but... No, nah, because this had to do something with a New York nigga, too. Dr. Dre, you... Either you got to be... Either you got to be soft or with it, bro. You got to be... You gotta either got to be a sucker or you got to be with it, bro. You can't be picking and choosing because it's making it look like you want some Tupac shit because I could have swore... When 50 Sitting was beefing, right? Game and all that. New York nigga and shit like that. Possibly could have lost at the time because 50 was a bigger artist. You ain't want no problem. You was Black Lives Matter. It was peace. But when K-Dot get on there, you felt comfortable enough getting on the stage and involving yourself in that. This is two rappers. This is, this is over music. You niggas united whole gangs and whole peace tree. This niggas dead on both sides and niggas is dancing together in peace because they feel like they have a victory, they have a win, that they they beat they beat Drake. You right. Y'all all did. They, everybody. It took everybody to fucking do it. It took Kendrick. It took all these fucking artists. It took... Nigga, you have every gang in California right now going against Drake. And the only reason they can tell you why they have beef with this nigga right now is... Um... Kendrick did not like us and... Now we get some shine. Drake helped you niggas, bro. And fuck Drake too. I'm not, it's not like a, I'm not a, I'm not like an academic one of them people like, oh, it's OVO, blah, blah, blah. No, fuck Drake too. He did some bozo shit too. But I'm just speaking facts when it comes to this. Like, y'all not having game on the stage verifies for us why we don't really fuck with Kendrick like that, bro. It verifies for us why you don't really fuck with Kendrick like that. You know what it is? All the powers that be on the West Coast. And I hope my RJ... You know what I'm saying? Everybody on this motherfucker know what motherfucking Chuck Taylor is and what I am and, uh, you know, what I've done for the West Coast. Now, as far as the motherfucking Kendrick and Drake shit, Kendrick and Drake shit. You know what I'm saying? And Kendrick do his shit and uh, what he did last night was amazing for the West Coast. See? That would be 
the rapper approach to this, right? Let's just get let's just get right onto it, right? This is the reason why, right? Because I don't want to drag this video out and all that, right? Game, the reason why you wasn't on that stage because you were a different type of artist. You wouldn't have did that shit, bro. You wouldn't have like beat for the artist and needed a whole fucking coach and every fucking gang and every fucking artist and every fucking blogger and every fucking website to help you. You would have kept it rap, and if it wasn't rap, you would have told the nigga about bumping to you, then it could happen. Kendrick didn't say that. You know what he said? What you say about the bay that'd be your last stop? Who the fuck said something about the bay? You saying that because you scared, bro. You scared a nigga by bumping to you. You don't want to, you didn't want this product. Let, let's go big screen, right? The truth is, Kendrick didn't want this problem by himself. Kendrick did not want a problem with Drake by himself. That's why it took him so fucking long to say something. But because he has every fucking artist, every fucking... This nigga got half a universal. This nigga got every fucking gang. This, bro, think about this. Nipsey died, right? And I, I cried when Nipsey died. Right? I, I literally, I dropped man tears when Nipsey died, right? Nipsey died. They did like a peace treaty uh, thing in, in California. I seen it, bro. I seen it with my own eyes. You can't lie. There's nothing that Whack 100 can say. There's nothing that Brick Baby can say. I seen it with my own eyes. After Nip Nipsey Hussle died, the West Coast was mourning. This nigga right here, game, was running around LA crying and shit in the car. Talking about, like, oh, I miss Nipsey, da, da, da. And then still let Whack 100 disrespect him. That's why I kind of don't really fuck with game either. But anyways... Nipsey passed, they had like this whole little peace treaty walk like that. I've seen a bunch of just different gangs in unity and all that. Like I said, I don't know the different names of the gangs different and different like that too, but I've seen the, the 40s and the 50s and the 60s and the, everybody was together, bro, on some unity shit, right? On some unity shit, right? For a few days, I believe somebody got shot that next day or something like that. They said in the news like that, but even now, that whole shit fell apart. Niggas are still beefing and all types of shit. We lost whole artists, Tupac and Biggie. We lost Tupac and Biggie, right? The West Coast didn't, wouldn't unite. It took a nigga named Aubrey from Canada. These niggas say A in a conversation. There's nothing against Canadian niggas. I'm just saying. Shout out to Canada. But it took a nigga named Aubrey who in his regular everyday speech probably says A to unite the whole West Coast in gangs, my nigga. It's niggas who hate each other. Bro, imagine that like your cousin died, right? Your cousin died and you hate the other side. And then Nipsey died and that didn't stop the, the, the violence. Um, bunch of other people died. That didn't stop the violence. Um, George Floyd, all that, that didn't stop the violence. But it took for a nigga named Aubrey from Canada to then their cyber bully this nigga into saying something and he couldn't even do it by himself, bro. It took that for all of this to happen. Besides the fact that I think Drake won lyrically, overall, he kind of won for the West Coast too. And shout out, this is not disrespectful, well, shout out to the West Coast, but realistically before this, right? This how, is this how, this how I'm prove my point, right? Look at all those people that K Dot had on the stage, right? All those artists that K-Dot had on the stage. And then go look at their Instagrams for the last 30 to 60 days and tell me how much um, how much Kendrick stuff you see on there. And I rest my case, bro. Kendrick, you're paying for help, bro. You're not giving niggas money, but for you to say uh, you don't want it with the Bay. This nigga didn't want it with the Bay, but now the Bay is going to come together and it gets him because it's West Coast. When you say you don't want it with Compton, he didn't want it with Compton. You don't have to be out your rabbit ass mind to want it with any type of gang member in California, period, because there's too many of you motherfuckers. That, that's, the, that, that's the fact of the matter. Nobody is willing to be with any of you niggas because there's too many of you niggas. That's why he didn't say it, but when you, Kendrick, be scared of a nigga that's just rapping about you and you bring a bunch of gang members and old coats, of course everybody's going to unite because this is our chance to, to get back. This nigga's killing Drake right now. This is our, let's all dance on the stage. We got Let's all drop music now. The West Coast is better. Do you hear these niggas, bro? Over two rappers rapping, niggas really feel like the niggas stopped the whole like war. Like there's no way like if you killed my homie, a nigga named Aubrey that says A is not gonna be able to do a diss track about another nigga for me to say, you know what? Forget all of that. This song was hard. Now I'm gonna drop a mixtape. This shit's sad, bro. This shit's sad, bro. But no, all jokes aside, it's hot as fucking here. But realistically, um, shouts out to Kendrick's though. At the end of the day, I really do feel that he um I'm gonna say it truthfully because did Kendrick probably buy views? Absolutely, yes. Did Drake also too? Yes, this is what happens in the industry. The same way people buy spins on radio. It, 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 it happens on both sides. It's just a simple fact of more people wanted Kendrick to win than Drake. Honestly, at the end of the day. They're both dope artists. It's a lot of dope artists. Uh, I probably listen to more West Coast artists right now at the moment anyways, but they're both dope artists. Um, but this, this is a dangerous game that y'all playing because you're uniting... You're uniting gang members, bro, over music. <laughs> like, 
What happened when these niggas' mixtapes don't sell? Or what happened when these records don't sell? Or what happened when Drake ignore all of this shit and then two months from now drop a song because he's there for the ladies anyways and they're still fucking with the nigga, bro? But, I mean, I wish both of them um, real good careers, much success and all that. But this is really some Tupac shit, bro. Like, if you're not ready to have a problem yourself, don't drag a bunch of other people into it where somebody can lose their life. That's the only reason why I have a problem with it. With you with the, you don't want it with Bay, you don't want it with Compton, give me back the ring, you're disrespecting Tupac. Who the fuck is disrespecting Tupac, bro? When did he say fuck Tupac? When did Drake say fuck Tupac? Because until he say fuck Tupac, what you're doing is making the niggas on the West Coast feel like he said that so they can go against him, but it's really to back you because he wasn't scared of you. He said he'd go. You're the one who's uniting everybody, bro. Like, either rap or don't rap. Don't make it a whole, a whole issue, bro. I just think that that's corny, bro. Game wouldn't have did that. And honestly, I think that's the reason why Game wasn't there. Because they understand that Game ain't with none of the, 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 the funny gimmicks. Just at the end of the day, nigga, if you can rap, then rap. Like, we not about the... Uh, when Game was beefing with rappers and shit like that, yeah, he did videos and stuff like that, but he wasn't on stage with a, a million rappers and, 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 and a bunch of people saying, I'm, I'm going to do this and do that to you. Like, this is, this is crazy, bro. To Drake, though, this is not even like a tough rapper. I can see if Kendrick got into it with like a... An actual gang member, bro. Like, you have a whole, like, coast, uh, like, and gang members behind you, bro. You know what Drake got? He ain't even from, like, he ain't even from the States, bro. It's not like he can say he got New York or get some. This nigga has, I want to do Canada got cities or is just one big, this, oh, I sound dumb as shit. I don't know, bro, but I know Canada probably don't because I know, like, America got cities and states. I don't think, they probably got, he don't have a whole province against him, bro. Do your homework on Kendrick Lamar got a whole coast behind him. And Kendrick, I mean, and, and Drake, he don't got a whole province or, Capital or whatever they got in Canada behind him, bro. We don't even know the people that's with Drake. We just see six niggas with OVO like outfits and chains. Only person we know is Chubbs because we keep hearing his name in music, bro. We don't know nothing about these niggas. He ain't got a whole gang against him, so of course he's not gonna try to go against all you niggas, bro. And you gonna make him look soft because he don't want to go against all the gang members and everything that you had to unite to go against somebody who was cyber bullying you. That shit crazy, bro. That shit crazy. But somebody needed to tell the truth, bro. Somebody needed to tell the truth and. I'm probably not coming to California anyways, so it probably had to be me to tell the truth. Well, it's the truth, though. If you think about it, it's the truth. Game, hold your head, bro. I got sat back and I watched it, nigga. I ain't have to be there, you know what I'm saying, to think that the shit was motherfucking cool and major. That's cool, nigga. I'm going to put the link below so you can watch the rest of this. These I think that what Kate out there for a lot of West Coast niggas last night, tall as fuck, nigga. I think it was hard. I think it was dope and heavy and big hard. Warning. 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 Tonight's forecast is a total blackout. You know what that means, baby, baby. It's the Blackout with DJ Bandana Black. Yeah, yeah, it's your boy Taj, man. I want to give a big, big shout out to my brother, my guy, DJ Bandana Black. The Black Eyed Buffalo stand up. God Squad, Free Dick Wolf, Leo. What's good, Buffalo? This your boy, Uncle Murder, from Brooklyn, East New York. And you already know I'm rocking with the homie DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. The Blackout. It's the King of Philly. Gilly the Kid and Kings only rock out with Kings, so you know I'm rocking out with my man DJ Bandana Black, aka Mr. I Am Buffalo. Huh? Hey, yo, it's poppin', poppin' man, it's your boy Spills, and you are now tuned into the Blackout, hosted by DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. You already know we got love for you. Westside Stand DJ Up. DJ Ban Ban Bandana!